I want you to see what's happening here. I want to point this out. This is where we talk about the spirit of truth revealing. This woman right here walked up to me. Let me point my finger. The woman right here that you see doing it, she walked up to me. She said, hey, do you want to do an interview? Of course, me, you know, I like the camera. I get all excited. Yeah, then the spirit of truth said, no, wait a minute. What do you want me to interview about? She's like, oh, an attempt to kidnap. I'm like, an attempt to kidnap? No, I don't want to speak on that. That's not, that doesn't, no. I said, I don't want to speak on that. So, check this out. She catches this guy, says, do you want to speak about an attempt to kidnap? Here he goes. He says, I didn't see any kidnapping. She says, all I want you to do is talk about the reaction. This is what he's talking about. So, you're going to see him on the news talking about something he absolutely knows nothing about. Let me show you what the spirit of truth is. What's just your reaction to hearing about an attempted kidnapping? I know y'all can't hear. Very surprisingly, but this is this is this is this is it's not unusual. Because these are not the crime like any other crime. Again, he doesn't speak to it. Or, or homicide. Well, I don't think enough it would be the first one here, but it's a it's a that, that we don't have to watch out I, I'm, I'm walking backwards because I don't want to disturb this woman's broadcast. She looked at me a little funny because I was standing right there. He is giving an interview with something he has no clue about. I want you to see how the spirit of truth is revealing to me how we get confused in our identity. He's told me something he has no clue about. She tried to get me to talk about something. I didn't see it. Even if I did see it, I'm not going to talk about it. But I want you to catch the rest of this um, because this is how people get confused. And this is the enemy thrives in confusion. All of confusion. Let's keep it. Yeah, yeah, where you at? Where you at? And see, this is also what happens because we want attention. Oh, thank you so much. I dropped something, getting off and saying, we want attention. That was me too. I was first like, yeah, I'll, I'll record. Hey, she's waving. One second. Did you get the reaction video? Oh, watch this, watch this. She don't know that I recorded all this, but I'm, I'm gonna catch her, catch her all the way out. Cause I want y'all to see that I'm not making this up. See, they're now trying to get it. They're trying to get details on it cause they don't know what happened. But yet he spoke on it and this is gonna get air. You got your interview? Good, good, God bless you. Oh, no, 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 I'm good. I didn't see it. Not, not did you. You didn't, he said, look, here he goes. You didn't see it either, did you? Yeah, yeah, I understand it. No problem. Problem. Spirit of truth. I want to reveal this. This is how we get confused in our identity. This is how the enemy works. So tonight, I'm going to put this on now. Tonight, you're going to see in New York City, the news, and a person is going to be talking about something that you saw on my account that he told you he had no clue about. Yeah. Attention, ego, want to say something. We all struggle with it. You know, she just wants to get a story. So it gets out there. And so somebody's understanding of truth gets grounded in something that's false. That's why we got to get past this whole your truth and my truth. It's the truth. And I just showed you an example of someone who's about to get, well, gave an interview. And this is going to be passed off as truth. And he has told you, I don't know what happened. This is the work of the kingdom to expose the practical effects of the enemy, the practical effects of lies and how it destroys our identity in Christ.